parts of Croatia are still under serious threat of flooding. The situation is critical in several areas. The peak swell of river flows is expected to arrive from Slovenia by Tuesday. The Sava River's peak is heading toward the Asenovac region, where it is expected to merge with the Una. Some residents of the Lonsko Polje area are ready to evacuate if needed, while water authorities are gradually letting some of the water past the Trebež levee to ease some of the pressure. Just south of the capital, the Velika Gorica area is also struggling to keep the swelling Odra River from flooding homes and businesses. Firefighters are on the scene sandbagging and assisting residents. No one has been evacuated, but locals are on standby. The government's plan to purchase more than 1,500 new vehicles has infuriated recession-weary citizens who have bombarded the government's Facebook page with angry comments. The Milanovic government has said that they had substantially reduced their demands choosing vehicles that were in the mid-price range instead of the luxury class. The purchase will set the state back some 36 million euros. The government is hoping to stimulate small businesses by increasing funding to an entrepreneurial impulse program. Entrepreneurship and Trades Minister Gordon Mares has said that nearly 300 million euros will be available to startups and existing small businesses. The program aims to improve competitiveness. The minister said he expected the program to generate 5,000 new jobs. Former Prime Minister Ivo Sanader's request to remove the presiding judge of the Zagreb County Court, Ivan Turudic, from his corruption trial in the Fimi Media case was denied last week. Today, his motion to dismiss Judge Ivana Chalic has also been rejected. The trial continues. The defense is currently presenting their case. Anti-government protests continue in neighboring Bosnia and Herzegovina. European Enlargement Commissioner Stefan Füle is due in Sarajevo today. Ahead of his visit, Füle has said that his message to Bosnia's leaders will be to end their political confrontations and deal with citizens' concerns. In sports, after Croatia's Marin Cilic was defeated in the final in Rotterdam by Tomas Bedrich of the Czech Republic by a score of 6-4, 6-2, countryman Ivo Karlovic also lost his final at the U.S. National Indoor Championships in Memphis against defending champion Kai Nishikori of Japan, 6-4, 7-6. In regional ABA Basketball League action, Croatia's Cedevita defeated Serbian side Crvena Zvezda 68-64 on Sunday. Nolan Smith led Cedevita with 18 points. They are currently ranked second in the league with 15 wins and 5 losses, while Crvena Zvezda remain on top with a 16-4 record. Tonight, Zagreb's Cibona are in Serbia where they face Mega Vizure at 8.45 p.m. This afternoon's forecast calls for moderate to heavy clouds with rain, sleet and snow in the western reaches of the interior, light scattered rain in Dalmatia. Moderate to high southeasterly winds on the coast, gale force on the open seas. Temperature highs will range from 2 to 7 degrees Celsius in the west of the interior, from 8 to 13 degrees in Slavonia and from 13 to 18 degrees on the Adriatic.